Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Dings and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about polynomial equations. First, we will discuss about polynomial equation in factored form. Let's have now examples in solving polynomial equation in factored form. We will determine the roots of the given equation. In example number 1, we have the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 is equal to 0. First step is, by applying the zero product property, we're going to equate each factor into zero. So first factor we have, x minus 2, we will equate it into zero. So we have, x minus 2 is equal to zero. Next is, we're going to apply the addition property of equality. We will add 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have, x minus 2, we will just copy the left side of the equation x minus 2 and then add 2 is equal to 0 and then plus 2 next is we're going to simplify the left side of the equation so we have negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 and then at the right side of the equation we have 0 plus 2 is equal to 2 so therefore the value of x is 2 x is equal to 2 for the factor x minus 2. Next, the second factor is x plus 3. We will equate it into 0. So, we have x plus 3 equals 0. And again, applying the addition property of equality, we will add negative 3 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x plus 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 minus 3. And then simplify the left side of the equation, 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. And then at the right side of the equation, we have 0 minus 3 equals negative 3. So therefore, the value of x is negative 3. And the third factor is x minus 1. So we have x minus 1 equals 0. And then applying the addition property of equality, we're going to add 1 to both sides of the equation and we have x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 plus 1 and then simplify the left side of the equation so we are going to add negative 1 and 1 so the answer is 0 and then at the right side of the equation we have 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 so the value of x in the third factor is 1 so we have here the values of x are 2 negative 3 and positive 1 so therefore the roots of the polynomial equation the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 1 equals 0 are 2 negative 3 and 1 for example number 2 the quantity of x plus 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 3 times the quantity of 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. By applying the zero product property, we're going to equate each factor into 0. So we will consider first the first factor which is x plus 5. We will equate it into 0. So we have x plus 5 equals 0. Next is, we're going to use the addition or apply the addition property of equality. So, we will add negative 5 to both sides of the equation. And we have now, x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5. And then, simplify now the equation. So, at the left side of the equation, we have x plus 5 minus 5. So, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And at the right side of the equation, we have 0 minus 5 equals negative 5 and the value of x now is negative 5 next the second factor is 2x minus 3 we will equate it into 0 so we have 2x minus 3 is equal to 0 we will apply now the addition property of equality we will add a positive 3 to both sides of the equation so we have 2x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 plus 3. We will simplify now the equation. So, negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. 
And then here at the right side of the equation, we have 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. So we have the equation 2x is equal to 3. So since uh, we're going to get the value of x, and here the numerical coefficient of x is 2, so we will divide the equation now by 2. So 2x divided by 2 is equal to x and that is equal to 3 halves. So the value of x is 3 halves or 3 over 2. And then the third factor is 4x plus 5. We will equate it into 0. We have 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. And then applying the addition property of equality, we will add negative 5 to both sides of the equation. So we have 4x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5. And then simplify now the equation. So we have 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And then at the right side of the equation, we have 0 minus 5 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, we have now 4x is equal to negative 5. And then, we're going to divide the equation by 4 using the division property of equality. So, 4x divided by 4 is equal to x. And then, negative 5 over 4. So, the value of x now is negative 5 fourths. So, here, the values of x are negative 5, 3 halves, and negative 5 fourths. So therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation, the quantity of x plus 5 times the quantity of 2x minus 3 times the quantity of 4x plus 5 we call 0 are negative 5, 3 halves, and negative 5 fourths. Let us discuss now the process on how to solve polynomial equation in standard form. Let's have now example number 1. x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. We can solve this equation by factoring. We can factor x squared plus 2x minus 15. So the factors are x minus 3 times the quantity of x plus 5 equals 0. And by applying the zero product property, so we will equate each factor into 0. So first we have... The first factor is x minus 3 equals 0. And then, by applying the addition property of equality, we're going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 plus 3. Next is, we're going to simplify the equation. So, we have negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. And then, at the right side of the equation, we have 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. And therefore, the value of x is 3. Next, the second factor is x plus 5 equate it into 0. We have x plus 5 equals 0. And then, applying the addition property of equality, we're going to add negative 5 to both sides of the equation. So, we have x plus 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 5. And then simplify the equation, 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. And at the right side of the equation, we have 0 minus 5 equals negative 5. So the value of x now is negative 5. So here, the values of x are 3 and negative 5. Therefore, we can say the roots of the polynomial equation, x squared plus 2x minus 5 equals 0 are 3 and negative 5. Another way in solving the polynomial equation in standard form is by applying the rational root theorem and using the synthetic division. So we will use the same equation which is x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0. First is we're going to determine all the possible rational roots of the given equation. So here the value of p is negative 15 or the constant term is negative 15 and the value of q is 1 that is the leading coefficient and the possible rational roots are the factors of 15 are 1 3 5 and 15 so we have positive negative 1 
positive negative 3, positive negative 5, positive negative 15. So using the synthetic division, we're going to write first the coefficients of the given equation. So we have 1, 2, negative 15. So for the divisor, we're going to choose one of the possible rational roots. So let's try positive 1 as the divisor. So bring down 1 and then multiply 1 by 1. So we have 1 and then we're going to write 1 uh, below 2. And then next is we're going to add 2 and 1. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Next is we're going to multiply 3 by 1. So 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Next is we're going to add negative 15 plus 3 is equal to negative 12. So here, since the last digit in the third row is negative 12, so we cannot consider 1 as one of the roots of the given equation. Kailangan 0 yung nasa dulo dito. So let's try again another possible rational root. So we have 1, 2, negative 15. We will just copy the coefficients of the given equation. So 1, 2, negative 15. So let's try now positive 3. Bring down 1. So 1 times 3 is 3. And then 2 plus 3 equals 5. Next is 5 times 3 equals 15 and negative 15 plus 15 is equal to 0. So, since the last digit in the third row is 0, therefore, we can or we will consider 3 as one of the roots of the given equation. Next is, so this will be our new coefficients, 1 and 5. So, we're going to choose one of the possible rational roots. So, let's try now negative 5. So, we're going to bring down 1 and then multiply 1 by negative 5. So, the product is negative 5 and then 5 plus negative 5 is equal to 0. So, again, the last digit in the third row is 0. So, negative 5 is one of the roots of the given equation. So, therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation x squared plus 2x minus 15 equals 0 are... 3 and negative 5. Let's have example number 2. We're going to solve for x. The given equation is x cubed minus 7x minus 6 equals 0. So here, we're going to determine first all the possible rational roots of the given equation. The constant term is negative 6. The value of a is negative 6 and the value of q is 1 that is the leading coefficient so therefore the possible rational roots are positive negative 1 positive negative 2 positive negative 3 positive negative 6 and then we're going to use now the synthetic division and the coefficients of the given equations are or the given equation are 1 that is for x cubed and then 0 for x squared. As you can see, the missing term here is x squared. And then negative 7, negative 6. And then the divisor. So let's try negative 1 for the possible rational roots. So bring down 1. And then 1 times negative 1 is equal to negative 1. And then 0 plus negative 1 equals negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 equals positive 1. Negative 7 times plus 1 or negative 7 plus 1 is equal to negative 6. And negative 6 times negative 1 equals positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. So since the last digit in the third row is 0, therefore, we will consider negative 1 as one of the roots of the given equation. Next is, uh, this will be the new coefficients now. So, we have 1, negative 1, negative 6. So, let's try down negative 2. So, bring down 1 times 
negative 2 equals negative 2. Negative 1 plus negative 2 equals negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 equals positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6 equals 0. So the last digit here is 0. Therefore, negative 2 is also one of the roots of the given equation. So let's try now positive 3. So bring down 1. 1 times 3 equals 3. Negative 3 plus 3 equals 0. So this will be now the values of x. Negative 1, negative 2, and 3. So the roots of the polynomial equation x cubed minus 7x minus 6 equals 0 are negative 1, negative 2, and 3. For example, number 3, we have 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. We're going to solve for the values of x. First is we're going to determine all the possible rational roots of the given equation. So the constant term is negative 2 and the leading coefficient is 3. So therefore, the possible rational roots of the given equation are positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 1 third, and positive negative 2 thirds. Next, for the synthetic division, we have the coefficients are 3, 4, negative 5, and negative 2. So, let's try now. Positive 1. So, nandito yun. Positive 1. So, bring down 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. And then 4 plus 3 equals 7. 7 times 1 is 7. Negative 5 plus 7 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. Negative 2 plus 2 equals 0. So, last digit here is 0. So, therefore, 1 is one of the roots of the given equation. Next, we have, so this will be now the new coefficients. We have 3, 7, 2. And let's try now negative 2. So, bring down 3. 3 times negative 2 equals negative 6. 7 plus negative 6 equals 1. 1 times negative 2 equals negative 2. 2 plus negative 2 equals 0. So, the last digit is 0. Therefore, negative 2 is one of the roots of the given equation. And, let's try now negative 1 third. So, bring down 3. 3 times negative 1 third equals negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 equals 0. So, here we have the values of x are 1, negative 2, and negative 1 third. So, therefore, the roots of the polynomial equation 3x cubed plus 4x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0 are 1, negative 2, and negative 1 third. Thank you for watching! Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.